You know how it's like in a bumper bumper, somebody moves a car length and then you move a car length? Correct. How about if you just stayed there and let them go two car lengths? Mm -hmm. And then you do one two car length move. Yep. Just by doing that, you doubled your fuel economy. Yep. Every time that you start that engine, it's trying to fill that tank just like right now, you can see it. Right. And it'll give you a little bit, so at these stoplights, if you're gentle, you can go stoplight to stoplight and you didn't burn any gas. And when you're braking, you can recapture some of that, right? So you can, run, right. You can run electric the whole time. You try as you much try. as you can, yeah. There's safety in following the speed limits. There's fuel economy in following the speed limits, and especially if you're concerned with global warming, if you're concerned with smog forming emissions, if you're concerned with our dependence on foreign oil. Now you look up what it total cost of ownership to own a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And some people say hybrids are too expensive. Right. When you look at the fuel savings, the resale value, the no maintenance, because these things are they, there's nothing to break. You don't have brakes and you know. Sure. These are much cheaper to own than a non-hybrid, even though they're more expensive to own up front. Yeah. You know, they cost more, but over the life of the vehicle, they actually cost less. Mm -hmm. So that's important for people to consider this. And of course, my passion is to get the best fuel economy you can. It doesn't matter what you own and drive, but consider your next vehicle being something like the 2010 hybrid fusion because it's fusion hybrid because it is a vehicle that can give you 70 miles per gallon around town without even breathing hard. Gliding on the downhills is the most obvious. Um, driving below the speed limit. <laughs> driving legally. <laughs> driving. Okay.